All right, I went yard sale on this is probably the big thing that I found. I paid five bucks for this 1979 Monty Python Life of Brian poster. These are going for $250, just the poster. Now, I've got mine in a frame, so the option online is, by the way, there's mothballs there in 80 pie, um, is to take it down or take it out of the frame and ship it cheaper on shipping or ship it framed and it'll cost them a little bit of money to do that because it weighs about 13 pounds. But uh, there you go, folks. Chuck, Back Road Bitter's favorite movie, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. But Life of Brian should be right behind it because it's worth some money. Five bucks. 250 your best offer. That's what it's listed for. I found some other stuff, but the clothing's being washed and not anything really crazy valuable. Spent a little over $120 today. But now we're going to get into what's so, folks, because I had a decent day on Wednesday, but yesterday I had one of the best days ever. Stay tuned. We're about to get started. Hey, I thought I was the intro to the show. Well, I was showing a poster. Well, next time, show it after my part, okay? I don't like stuff going ahead of me. <laughs> Delta Dawn, what that what it what? That's one of the things you sold. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well folks, he went yard selling, spent a little over a hundred bucks. And nothing crazy money, but he found a few things. You got that Xbox One uh Connect and what else? You get some Barbies in the box. One of them sold for two hundred two thousand dollars on eBay. You think you're gonna get that much? I don't know, I'd be tickled to get two hundred. Well, there you go. And he's been listening. Got some vintage caps, including a K-Products hat and a SS Railway. Some train thing, I guess. And what else? You get some Big Mac shirts from J.C. Penney's. Them are like from the 50s. Flannels. And they're in the washing machine. Along with a vintage AT&T jacket. Yeah. Yeah. But we better get on with the sales. It's going to take a while because the cap guy hit it out of the park yesterday. Out of the park. So stay tuned and you'll see what he sold. Here we go. Have a great day, folks. Yeah, yeah. Wednesday wasn't so great. I mean, it was okay. It was over a $100 profit. Excuse me. But yesterday, my phone just kept cha-chinging and cha-chinging and cha-chinging and cha-chinging. And I've been listing, you know, 10, 15, 20 every day. Um, I think I've listed... I listed 11 on Wednesday, and yesterday I listed 14, and today I'm around 18. So, yeah, just list some, 10, 15, 5 if you need to, whatever it takes, but make sure that that algorithm's seeing that you're active in that in that eBay store. Not that that's going to generate the sales, but you got to try different things on the offers, and I've been getting lucky with offers. I'll send out 10, and maybe two will accept. Um, so a couple will counter and they'll be ridiculous. So I'll decline. And, uh, but yeah, we're going to get into it. Cause I had 23 sales yesterday, folks, and big money, big money. So stay tuned. We're about to get with it. Let's go. And by the way, thanks Chuck and Nady Pie. I had a lot of fun last night on back road bitter and Nady Pie, uh, doodles. <laughs> <laughs> we and I tried to fool them. If you hadn't seen that video, go check it out. Trinkets and doodles. I'm sorry. Uh, I I dressed up in a Hawaiian shirt and a fedora, thinking that's what Nady Pie was going to be in. But he was smarter than the average bear. Guess what he did? He wore a cabbie hat or an ascot and a regular dress shirt. And Chuck had on a tie. But we had a lot of fun, so if you hadn't seen that video, go out and check them out and subscribe to those two fellas. They deserve it. And uh, now let's get on what I sold. Here we go. All right, the first thing that I sold on Wednesday is something I got from Faith, Mini Mimi Thrifter. I spent 161 shipped, 29 games. Some were in case like this. Some were disc only. There's a bunch of them that aren't worth much of anything. There are a couple that are worth a pretty good amount of money, and one of them was already sold. And I've already got my money back. So there you go. Stay tuned. You're going to see. Uh, the first thing I sold, though, was this Dark Cloud 2 on PlayStation 2. And I bought all these games, and I had to clean 99% of them because they were pretty scratched up. But I have a JFJ Pro. So if you don't have one of those and you're going to play with video games, you better get one. And the way I do my video games on high-end games, and I consider this more of a high-end game, 
is I take pictures and I bought one of these higher little things for 20 something dollars on eBay. Uh, Lonnie Shed Flips has one and you can test a lot of these consoles that have the, have the, um, the AV cables that go into it. So I go through it and I test it and I play it just a little bit just to make sure that it is testing. I show all the pictures and anyway, I had 555, that's $161 uh, divided into 29, comes out to 555 per unit. And so I had 555 in this, I sold it for 29.99 plus shipping on top. And my profit, I'll go ahead and say it to keep it short, $20.22. The next, Family Archives, I got these at the Goodwill bins a long time ago. I got a bunch of them, basically about 10 cents a piece Based on weight, this one is number 500. Uh, family Tree Maker, Family Archives, modern, uh, Southern Biographies and Genealogies from the 1500s to the 1940s. Say that, it's a mouthful. Sold her for 850 on a best offer, one of the offers that was accepted, plus shipping, and uh, my profit was $7.71. The next is Xbox 360 Ultimate Alliance, okay? And I paid um, $1.56, I've had this for a while too. Sold it for $7.99 plus shipping and I made $4.10. The next is a vintage Enid Collins of Texas Elegance Purse. This came from a state sale that we were doing, our garage clean out. These can go for pretty good money. This one had some missing rhinestones uh, in a couple of places. I think there were about five of them, but you can see here's Elegance. And then there's other spots on this uh, purse that have um, there you go down there. You can see her, her autograph and they've got wood bottoms or some of them that are wood purses and they're worth a little bit more. I had this at 44 because it had some defects with the stones and, um, uh, didn't have anything invested in it. Ended up taking a best offer of $30 plus shipping. And the profit on that is 2241. The next is fungus among us. Brand new, Toys R Us, sealed packs of toys. What you do with them, I don't have a clue, but once you buy them, I don't care. Batch number two, I've got one left. I think I picked up like six or seven of these, and I'm selling them all in that range of $29.99 plus shipping. I wish I could find a ton of these. Um, one dollar in, $29.99 sold plus shipping, and I made $23.91 profit. The next is Wii Sports Resort. This is part of Brian Kittenville Brick. Uh, the, the Actually, it's a deal I got from him. Uh, there's nothing comped in this. All my comp, which is $12.50, is what I had and what I traded, is on the Pokemon uh, Wii games, and those are listed at $64.99 for two of them. So that's where the value, the uh, the sold, or the comps are. The This one has a zero valuation on everything else, including the Mary Kay and all the other games. A lot of the games, again, were low-end games, and they'll be going to a yard sale soon. I've taken about 400 video games out of my office and put them in yard sale category. So when I have it in a few weeks, they'll be available. Um, this one I sold for 33 free shipping and I made 23.75 off that. The next is Mary Kay, also from Brian. This is a medium coverage foundation. This one is Ivory 104, um, nothing invested. Sold it for $12 free shipping and I made $6.60 on this. And the last thing that I sold on Wednesday was this. Picked it up last Friday in Blanchard. The first one sold for 39. This one wasn't as popular. Battle Pack, this is uh, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. This uh, sold for $22 plus shipping. And uh, the other one sold for 39. I had $6 invested. So I made a profit of $9.29 on the day. I had eight sales, $14 and 21 pennies in cost of goods. 173.47 in total sales and my profit on Wednesday was 117.99 short of my 150 a day target goal. On Thursday, I started off with a sale of a True Religion shirt. Picked this up uh, on the 7th at a yard sale where I bought a bunch of clothing and Jordans. I'm selling the clothing, I'm not selling the Jordans. And uh, this is a True Religion shirt, it is 5XL. I paid $2 for this. I sold up for $15 plus shipping. My profit was $13.19. The next is for my Star Wars bundle, $385 for a bunch of characters. I've got one spaceship and about 12 characters left. This is the medical 
a droid from um, Star Wars, and it is the 2-1-B medical droid. He doesn't have a staff that would make him more valuable. Um, I had $3 invested as part of the, you had to put a valuation on each piece, and that's what I did based on the value of the item. Sold it for $20 plus shipping. $13.79 was my profit, and this going to Canada. The next is another one of these L'Oreal, three tubes of this Excellence Cream Conditioning Treatment Step 3. Uh, this is the third one I've sold, I do believe, or there may be the second one, but um, I'm selling them. I had nothing invested. Again, I did a bundle deal, $20 for the whole bag. I put all the comp value on other items in that purchase, but the makeup is what's selling, or the hair conditioner, I should say. Uh, $17.49, and um, I have... Uh, Free shipping on it, eight seventy three is my profit, and I am in the profit. Got this at the bins a long time ago. This is a two thousand six flip top Radica Solitaire. Uh, it does work. It's been tested and works. And basically, I got this for a quarter at the bins. Find these all the time, and I've got a bunch of them. Uh, sold this one for fifteen plus shipping, and I made eleven ninety four profit. The next is uh, Margaritaville. Uh, this is a brand new 2006 Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville 2XL from the Cayman Islands. I bought two of these. The first one sold. It is really cool graphically. You can see here 2006. And um, I had paid $350 on the world's largest advertised yard sale, which is Duncan, Oklahoma, every summer. And um, I got an offer on this for $28 free shipping. I took it and. Uh, I made 1520 profit. The next is another one of Mini Mimi Thrifters games. I cleaned this disc, tested it, as you can see. It is called God Hand on PS2. 555 is the valuation in this deal. I sold this for $210, folks. That's correct. And uh, if it had the manual, it would went for about $269 uh, sold. Uh, this is going to Qatar in the Middle East. That's correct, Qatar. And I did check out the buyer, and they do buy video games, so I feel good with it. I did pay for insurance, and I did pay for uh, everything that I needed to protect myself. And um, my profit on this is $166.25. The next is Pikachu. It is a sweatshirt XL from 2016. I got this at Goodwill just recently. It is like a raised carpet texture on this uh, sweatshirt. And there you go. It's on a Pokemon tag. And I paid, um, what did I pay for that? $5.99 at Goodwill. Sold it for $30 plus shipping. And then my profit was $18.89. The next is Mary Kay Timewise Night Restore and Recover Complex. Got it from Brian. Nothing invested. $6 sold plus shipping. And on this Mary Kay, I... Um, made $5.10. I also sold some Mary Kay mineral powder, ivory 0 0.5, and a We Country Dance 2 game to Jennifer, who's also a viewer. And uh, she had won a prize on my giveaway. And on my next video, I'll be doing the $25 gift card because the person that won it did not respond in the 24 hours. So on my next video, I will be giving it away again. Um, if you want to go back and watch the video with the Scooby Dooby head a few days ago, um, the 900 subscriber deal, and comment Mary Kay in there, you'll be entered to win. So um, here we go. Uh, on the uh, mineral powder, I sold it for $14.95. I had nothing invested, so I made $14.95. On the We Country Dance, I sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. I did lose a couple of dollars in shipping, and that's okay. She asked me if it was enough shipping. I said, I'll, I'll take care of any excess. And because I didn't ship through eBay, um, uh, it, it was a, a deal outside of it that um, uh, she asked off of eBay site. Um, then um, 1642 was my profit off the game. And um, then she also got the prize that she won on my channel. So they were all shipped together. And uh, I appreciate it, Jennifer, very much. Uh, the next one is... Super Mario Kart on Super Nintendo has a little cover protector here. I got this in an $80 bundle deal with a bunch of games. And, um, yeah, I got it in a bunch of games. And I uh, 
I already have made my money. I sold a GameCube console and some games and made my money a long time ago. Um, but I did do a valuation of a dollar on this, $44.95 plus shipping. This is going to Canada and my profit was uh, $36.80. The next is Injustice Gods Among Us on PS3. Um, I got this for $202 at Goodwill a while back, sold it for $8.99 free shipping. My profit was $2.16. The next is Ultimate Marvel Capcom versus Capcom, I should say, on PS3, disc only. Um, on this, I paid uh, $2, sold it for $17.79 plus shipping. My profit was $12.88. The next is Xbox One Minecraft, again, disc only. And um, I paid uh, $3 for this, sold it for $18.90 free shipping. My profit was $9.42. The next is ESPN Xbox Complete 2K5. I got this in the deal with uh, Brian, so nothing invested, and uh, sold this for $9.90 plus shipping. I made $8.98 profit. The next is a BIM Ritter. That's the name brand. Peoria Chiefs ball cap. It is brand new. It is a fasten back. It is not a snap back. Um, I had uh, $1.72 invested in this. I sold it for $12.99 plus shipping, and my profit on that was $9.39. Continuing on, my next one was Men's Under Armour Heat Gear Short Polo 2XL. Paid a dollar for this at a yard sale, and I sold this for $23, I'm sorry, $22.70. Free shipping, my profit was $13.12. The next are Miss Me's. These are pink. I've got a pair of tie-dyes left. These are 28s, and I bought paid $6 for these just a few weeks ago in Tuttle at their citywide sale. Sold them for $36 plus shipping. My profit was $22.84. The next is a Nike uh, Football Club Barcelona. It is Neymar Jr. I paid $1.68 at a thrift store a while back. I've got some messy ones. I don't have any Neymar. Um, I paid $1.68, sold this for $25 plus shipping, and my profit was $19.45. The next is another game from Faith, Mini Mimi Thrifter. 555 in. This is PS2. This is Jaya 2, Cursed Memories. And I sold it for $17.99 plus shipping. My profit was $10.18. The next is a Ralph Dean and Sons trucking diecast model. Paid $4 at an estate sale for this. Wasn't sure it was going to sell. It's not a real known brand or uh, not brand, but um, company. And it doesn't no longer exist. And as you can see, they got LA and Phoenix on their on their logo. And um, paid four, sold it for 40, plus shipping. 28.51 is my profit. And the last thing I sold, Tanya Tucker 2000 Tour. It is a ball cap. And uh, this is uh, just a, a fasten back. There you go, 2000. Trying to click that again. And uh, I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale, sold it for 22 plus shipping. And my profit was 17.64. So on the day, on Thursday, I had 23 sales. One of my best days ever, single day say, uh, number. $63.28 in cost of goods. $695.80 in total sales. And my profit for Thursday was $498.88. Just shy of $500. I will take that to the bank every day, all day. And I've got a fantastic day with another big sale today. So stay tuned in my next video. I'll be doing the giveaway and I'll go over the sales today uh, in the next video. I appreciate you folks as always. Uh, I hope your sales are as good too. And um, please uh, smash that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. On my way to a thousand. Have a great day, folks.